What is up guys, it's Fred with Influencer Unchained and in today's video I'm going to show you how to build a completely free high converting landing page in just about 10 minutes. Now in the space of making money online, being able to create landing or bridge pages is important for the following reasons. Number one, a lot of sites like even YouTube and Facebook don't allow direct affiliate links to be posted, but adding a bridge page as another web page in between circumvents that. And number two, a landing page allows for email collection and thus further promotions and follow-ups, which is highly valuable for anybody trying to scale up their online businesses. And before we get started with the video, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more curated methods of making money online as well as digital entrepreneurship. And with that, let's get right into the video. Welcome to my quick start guide for how to create a free, high converting landing page. The website we're going to be primarily using today is Wix.com. And the reason is that it's not only completely free to use, but also incredibly easy to use with their drag and drop interface. So to get started, you want to first sign in with a Google account, but not just with any Google account, and especially not your personal one, because one of the caveats about the free version of Wix is that it actually puts your username into the URL of your website. So to deal with that, you can just quickly create a Google account with a name that you'd be comfortable with being included in the URL of your landing page. And once you've logged in, you want to next go to create new site right here in the middle, and then that'll take us to this page here where you can select the type of website you want to create, and we're going to just click on other. And here you can already see a lot of made for you templates, including those for landing pages. If I just scroll all the way to the bottom of this menu here and actually open this up, you can see a lot of landing page templates that you could potentially use. But for the sake of today's demonstration, I'm actually going to go to the blank canvas here and just click on blank template and just click on start from scratch. So if you're not familiar with what a landing page looks like, the elements that they typically include are a short description of what type of product or solution it actually links to, as well as an actual opt-in form or button where people can go ahead and click on or fill out their email address if you want to also do email collection. On top of that, you could also have a nice looking background and some images such as ones provided by an affiliate product itself, but usually you want to keep it fairly uncluttered. Now in today's demo, I will show you how to actually create a pop-out opt-in form for people to fill out their email address, which is usually the optimal method. First, let's go ahead and add a background. To do that, you can click on anywhere on the page and just click on change page background here, and it'll give you a lot of royalty-free backgrounds that you can use. And since I'm in the making money online niche, I think I'm going to go with one uh, of a beach. So this one here seems pretty good. And I actually like how blurry it is because it's less distracting this way. But now let's start adding some of the details of the affiliate product I'm going to be promoting. So to do that, I'm going to go over to Clickbank and find my affiliate product and I've actually decided on this one called the Super Affiliate uh, System. And by the way, you can do this for pretty much any affiliate product since any decent one will always provide you with adequate resources and information for you to be able to promote their product well. But anyway, with this Super Affiliate System description here, all I have to do is just copy this entire part here and just uh, go back to our Wix page and then click on add here, um, click on text and then just click on the size that I want, for example heading 5 and I can just paste the entire uh, snippet into this box. And now I can also just adjust the size of this box so I can just scroll down a bit, click on this little uh, dot here and then just drag this over to the left, drag the other one to the right, oh, yeah, and then just click on the box itself and I can move the entire box wherever I want. Uh, I'm going to position it in the middle here. And to actually make the text look a bit more clear, I can just double click here to highlight the entire thing. And on the right here, they'll have a settings menu that pops up uh, for which I can just adjust the size and I can also make it bold wherever I want. In this case, I'm just going to bold everything. And before we actually go on to add our opt-in button and form, there's usually another important step that you should take. And that has to add a disclaimer, which is oftentimes needed in order to comply with the rules for when you want to promote and advertise a product. But fortunately, most good affiliate products will also include these, so it's literally as simple as just linking from your landing page to whichever disclaimers they have. So now I'm going to go back to my Clickbank product and look at its actual landing page right here. And at the bottom, you'll see a lot of different links to like terms of use, earnings disclaimer, refund policy, and so on and so forth. But for our page, we don't actually need to use every single one of these. Usually two or three will suffice. So I'm going to pick um, terms of use, earnings disclaimer, and privacy policy. So if I just go back to my, um, I'm actually going to first copy this and I'm going to go back to my editor and then actually open up a new text box by clicking on add again and then clicking on heading 5 and dragging this text box all, uh, box all the way down here. 
And now I can actually just paste in the names and create our links. So first we have um, terms of use and earnings disclaimer. And I just need to add one more from this page again, uh, this page, and I'll just take privacy policy and uh, with this line here, divider, and just go back, paste this back in, and we'll have all three. And now I can just drag these over to the middle to reposition them. And I don't actually have to create additional links back to this page uh, because the links are already in place when I copied and pasted them. So if I, for example, open up this one, um, Terms of Use, if I just highlight this, you'll see that on the right here, um, it link here is actually highlighted. So um, if I just click, oh, if I just um, actually click on it, you'll see that it's already linked to this URL from the original um, affiliate page. And with all this stuff already in place, I can finally start doing our opt-in form and button. So I'm going to just go ahead and scroll up and click on add again and find button uh, right here and just find one of the buttons I like. So um, let's see, I'm going to just click on this orange one, drag it over to the middle and just expand it massively. And actually, because everything is just a bit too high up, uh, I'm just gonna highlight everything and just scroll everything down slightly, drag everything down, and that actually looks quite a bit better. Additionally, if you want, you can also add a header to your page. So I'm gonna move everything down even more, even though I just did. I'm gonna move everything down again and add a huge header to our page by clicking on add, going over to text, and then adding a big heading right on top and I'm just gonna name it something like um, free training six-figure online uh, income which I actually based on the um, original affiliate product again but I actually need to adjust the size here um, by dragging and dropping again Oops, dragging this entire thing down actually just dragging this down here uh, highlighting everything again, dragging everything up. That looks better. And just repositioning the button again. And I can even make it bigger because I want to. And now I can also just reformat this heading here by centering the text and then bolding the text. And we can finally move on to setting up our opt-in button. So first, I'm going to change up the text in the middle here to make it a lot bigger. And it's actually not that intuitive to find the formatting for this, but actually you can just click on change text right here. Oops, not change text. You actually need to click on design here. That's right. And then go to the very uh, bottom, actually. Whoa. Go to customize design right here. And then you can um, change the text settings all the way down here. Okay, it's not the easiest to find, so make sure you follow along this part. And obviously I need to change the um, what the text says, so I can say, um, give me access. Now, some people like to leave their landing pages just like this, which works fine for acting as a bridge page that looks attractive and is compliant to the rules. But what people don't know, what you can do on Wix is adding a pop-up opt-in form which just looks super professional and legit. So if you want to grow in an email list for free to be able to deliver value and promote products to, that is what I'm going to be showing you how to do next. So to incorporate a pop-up form, we can again go to the left side here and click on add and actually scroll to the bottom to lightbox. And here are a lot of different templates that we can use. Uh, typically for this, you want a form with both name and email. So we're going to look for one that is preferably has both. So if I just scroll down here, uh, let's see. This one seems to have one. Um, I'm going to go with this template right here. So the very first thing you want to do with a light box is you want to change up the triggers, which is whatever makes it pop up onto your page. So currently it'll be set by default to pop up automatically without people clicking on any buttons, which you don't actually want. Because what you instead want to happen is to have people click on your button and then have this pop up afterwards. So in order to change up our settings, we can go over to the set triggers button here and under the automatically displayed light box setting, we can toggle it to no. And underneath that, it actually reads that you can link to your light box from any other button or element on our website, which is exactly what we'll be doing. But for now, going back to our pop-up, there are a lot of elements that we actually don't want. And to delete them, we can just straight up highlight them and delete them. So um, just clicking on them and clicking on backspace literally. And even this I can delete and just center everything, um, the text and the form itself. And also delete this little message box here. 
Okay, and as you can see here, I've customized some of the different aspects of this form, such as uh, reducing its size, changing up the header, and also um, changing the button here by again clicking on the button and clicking on settings, actually clicking on design. Um, I can change the theme and down here I can click on customize design to change the text settings as well. So here I'm actually going to shrink my text a little bit and then uh, bold it, uh, un unitalicize it to make it look just a bit better. And now that I'm fairly happy with how the form looks, I can go ahead and customize what the button does, which is to lead us to the affiliate page. So I'm going to click on this button here, click on settings, and under the URL for uh, the link to external URL, which is highlighted here, under here there's like a box that I can paste my link to. I'm going to go back to the affiliate product, find my hop link, which is specific to my account by the way, or else you won't earn any commissions. I'm going to copy this, go back to Wix, paste it in, and click on done. And by the way, as for collecting emails, you don't have to link this to any third-party autoresponder platform like GetResponse or MailChimp because Wix will collect all the emails for you that pass through this form. And now for our final step, we're going to set up our button on our landing page to make this form pop up. So first, we're going to exit out of this like box mode by clicking on this X right here on the left and then go back to our button here. And under the link button right here, we can just click on it and it'll open up these different options for us to link to. And obviously we're going to go to the very bottom here under light box and actually highlight the exact light box that we just designed and click on done. And finally, now all that's left is to publish our website. So to do that, we're going to go over to the upper left here and click on publish. And we also have to name our website. So here um, it says that, uh, let's see, okay, it actually says my site right now and we can actually view the site, but you can indeed name your website. But first, let's check it out. So this is what our landing page looks like. It looks fairly clean and nice, although you could probably change up the background if you wanted to. Uh, I can click on this button. I can also animate the button, which I should probably go back and do. But if I just click on this, it'll show us the pop-up button right here, which works awesome. I can just fill up my name and email and just, you know, click on this thing. And actually, why don't I just test it out? So I can just do something like Fred um, Influencer Unchained at gmail.com, for example, and click on Give Me Access. And that should take us to our affiliate page. And if we just wait, it indeed does. And really quick, I just want to show you how you can rename your site. So again, I mentioned that uh, your URL will be partially based on the Gmail account you sign up for. So here I have Influencer Unchained, which is fine with me. But for the last part that says my site, I can change that. So I'm going to click on site actions here and click on rename site. And I can just rename it something like super affiliate. Okay, and that should be quite appropriate. And over here, I can also rename this. This is actually the one I want to do. Super aff affiliate. Okay, there you go. Click on save and you're all set. And also, because earlier I did indeed perform a form submission on our page, you can see that under our notifications, there is indeed a new um, contact that's being added to our email list. So this is actually myself from the demo, but you can see that there is indeed uh, this being added to the email list on Wix. Just one final thing I want to mention regarding Wix is that if you use the free version, there will just be a small watermark at the top of your page, which I know isn't ideal but also shouldn't matter that much. Although I also suppose that it's to be expected with already so many useful functionalities that come with even the free version. Now if you want to remove that watermark, you can choose to upgrade to a premium version of the site or use an alternative platform like WordPress.org, which is what I use and that I'll also create a guide for in the near future. And before I end off the video, I also want to divert your attention to my top recommended training for starting your very own passive income business online. While on my YouTube channel, I try my best to show you viable guides for how to make money online and how to create useful tools like landing pages, but this training will be a lot more structured and elaborate if you want to take the leap to go hard on an online business as I have. Anyway, if you're interested, the link is down in the description box. And I highly, highly recommend checking it out. And with that, we have reached the end of today's video. If you found it helpful or learned something at all, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and hitting that notification bell for more curated methods of making money online and digital entrepreneurship. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.